Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Space Pirates and Zombies 2. Now, when we left off, we had just participated in yet more arena fights, but we had experienced a different ship layout. And as you can see on the right side of the screen here, the Doom Canoe. This sounds like an absolute beast of a ship. And as you see, it actually <laughs> almost no shields. But epic long-range mass driving power. Can you imagine? That is going to be absolutely insane. Just stay at a long range and just snipe your opponent. That is, oh, that is going to be very impressive. So we're just going to do the cadet. We're not going to do the captain on screen because I'll do that off screen and get a little bit more scrap and then maybe we'll purchase a new part and then we'll just continue on to the next star base and see a couple of different ship layouts. Now, uh, this is actually serving to be a very good example of what you can actually do in the game, and I think that's very smart of the developers to do, because you can be like, oh, maybe I want to have a, 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 a long-range sniper-type ship, or maybe I want to have a very close-range sort of flak cannon or some sort of shotgun. I actually haven't seen the shotgun thing yet, but maybe we'll be able to do that. So yeah, it would actually be really cool to see. So uh, yeah, there's enough bickering, ranting on, and let's just head on in and see this amazing ship at work. So yes, we have nine missiles in actual fact. What is the distance though? What is the distance actually that we need to be at? I'm actually unsure. I am very unsure what that is, but this guy is actually able to shoot us from very, very long range indeed. Maybe we'll actually be able to shoot. Ah, there we go. We are actually starting to shoot him now. Whoa, we have a huge amount of missiles. Wow, okay, so yes. Do you see his health bar? His health bar is actually... Oh no, that's his shield, never mind. Yes, his health bar is actually the chevron thing, the thicker chevron thing. The triangle icon that is in sections at the top, that is actually his ammunition and how much he's used. So that's actually very nice to know. But, as you can see, those missiles are absolutely tearing his shields apart. Can I actually use missiles that deal damage to his hull, however? That is the thing. Ooh! Oh my. Okay, I see. What? Did you see that? Was that just me? Did you see that huge mass drive? That is amazing. Okay, so we need to get into range, because this guy is staying out of range on purpose, because he knows. So, yes, there we go. We are now within range, I believe. Or is it 250 range? Maybe it's 250 or so, but... Whoa. That just did 2,200 damage. And I took literally nothing. I took literally no damage whatsoever, so... Yeah, I think maybe a sniper-type ship is very, very effective indeed. Wow. I was not anticipating it to be that good, but apparently... Apparently, very much is. So, let's head on into the starbase of Vacuum. <laughs> yes, yes. That, yeah, they went there. They did, they did go there. The captain of this base is Vacuum. Yeah, I just wonder where Hoover is. You know? And, and where's, and where's, uh, yeah, I don't know whether I can, well, yeah. Where's Dyson? Where's Dyson? And where's, where's, <laughs> of course. So, let's actually just trade here and see what these guys have for sale because you never know, they might actually have something good. So they do have an Omni Cannon, but they also have this, which, yeah. It follow fires a volley of fly-by-wire shield-disrupting ion missiles. Unfortunately, that is very expensive. Now, actually, what do I need? I need the left wing. I don't need the right wing. So let's actually just take a look and see. Wait, did I just forget what I needed again? Yes, I did. I need the left wing, in actual fact. Okay, so that's great. So I need the left wing. Yes, so what do we have here? Omni cannon and fly by wire missiles. Yeah, not, not particularly great, I gotta say. But the markup on this guy seems to make this Omni cannon extremely expensive. Not entirely sure why it's so expensive, because that the other guy wasn't that expensive at all. But I suppose it's just because he only has two wings for sale and the other guy had a little bit more. But we could buy a nose here. Yeah, we could buy a nose here. That might actually be a good idea. Missiles, a fast moving, fast tracking missile, good for taking. Fast ships and strike craft. Ooh, that might actually be pretty good. A basic direct fire emitter. That does 1 DPS. That does 0.4. I'm looking for the highest DPS weapons, basically. Maybe we should just go for the laser. I think the laser might actually be a good plan. So let's just go for the laser. That is a new nose for us, I believe. So there we go. That's nice. Now, does he have any... Oh, my. Yes, he does have some subcores, but these are, well, obviously still very expensive. So let's see what we can do about assembling our ship. Let's go back in here. Now, 
Let's see, what is that? That's the micro blaster that we lost beforehand. And this is the micro emitter. A weak short range emitter. Yeah, I don't want I don't want that. Do I? No. I wanna take this. There we go. That's looking good. So yeah, I'm actually gonna remodel my ship at some point because I actually feel like this design is a little bit flawed right now, but obviously we need to get all the parts first to be able to make something good. So uh, yeah, let's just do that. And uh, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna cut away. I'm gonna be doing the next fight with our mass driver ship, and then we'll be traveling on to the next starbase. Alright, so after our recent arena fight, that was against the captain level, I believe, and we have we've re reached level 3. Isn't that amazing? Yes, I've already willingly and graciously volunteered to do all the real work aboard this ship. All that is required from you is to simply select a button and press it. Just don't press it too hard. <laughs> ah, yes. E excellent, isn't it? Absolutely. Okay, so do we want more reload speed or do we want more weapon damage? I don't know, I think more weapon damage would actually be pretty good. Now, yes, we're also getting new cores as well, which is actually pretty nice. We're getting more weapon, uh, sh ship girth, I believe? Yeah, so we can actually have more of the sub cores. Ah, yes, here we go. Alert, the mothership could be approved. I approved? Yes, improved by adding more core modules. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying, you could have a better ship. Just don't worry about it. Use the assemble ship button to drop out of warp and edit your mothership. Use cores to increase the frame size. And attach wing, nose, and engine parts to your frame. Visit a Starbase Junkyard if you're in need of low-quality ship parts. Never tell me this again! Brr. Yes, apparently there's an option for that. So, let's head on in here and actually just see. So we need another subcore. Unfortunately, the subcores here are 950. So that is very expensive, so... I actually don't know whether I really want to. I, I suppose I should just get some junk parts right now just to make sure that we're okay, right? I mean, do 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 we? Do we want to get junk uh, I don't really want to get junk parts, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not going to get junk parts right now. I'm actually going to go to an alternate starbase, see what they have for sale. Maybe they'll have a subcore that's a little bit cheaper, but let's just see whether there's actually anything owned here. Oh, yes, here we go. Okay, so this guy is Sad Jester. Sad Jester. Okay, so let's go and... Yeah, he does look like quite a sad jester, doesn't he? Yes. Oh, he does! He does look like a sad jester. Oh, my. Wow, that's... He's quite melancholic, isn't he? So, okay, let's head on in to trade. Yes, there we go. Oh, he has... He does have a little bit of a... Well, a little bit of... Well, cheaper subcore, slightly. Very, very slightly, but this actually has a rarity of 10%. So does that mean it's actually a lot better, or...? Well, I have no idea, in actual fact. The stats seem to be relatively the same. But yes, 963. About a thousand we're gonna need. So, do we ha do we need anything else? We, we have the nose and the right wing, so we just need the left wing, so... And the engine, of course. We do need the engine. So let's see... The, apparently the engine can, ah, okay, so the engine can have a cannon on it, but I'm, I'm unsure whether I should actually use it, because this over here might actually be really good, but I don't have enough. I don't have enough for it, so let's just head in here and do the first arena fight. Black holes don't make friends. Oh yes, it's probably the black hole generating ship, isn't it? Yes. Let's head in here and see actually what it's all about. Just look at that, though. Look at the unique sort of looks of every single ship. I really like that. So let's just actually see. We have one missile, so I can assume that's going to be the black hole generator of some sort. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, so let's see. How much damage is it going to... Whoa, there's the shotgun. Okay, so this, this particular ship has the shotgun, and I really want it. Yes, I do. I really want it. Did you see that? Did you see how much? Wow, that was absolutely amazing. I really love that. So, yeah. Gonna try and find out what particular... Maybe this Starbase actually sells shotguns or technically ion cannons or, or something along those lines. I actually have no idea what they're called, but we're gonna find out, no doubt. Because, really, that is just amazing. So, yeah, our shields have gone down, of course, but I am playing rather recklessly right here. Because we want to get into the action. There we go. Come on now. Yes, yes, there we go. The damage! The damage is insane. Very nice. 
We are being pushed away, of course, because the black hole does have a rather severe gravimetric distortion force thing. Yes. On screen. On screen. Ensign. Yes. All that. <laughs> ah, fantastic. So, yes. Let's just head on over here. I am very low on ammunition, however, so I'm a little bit worried that we might not actually be able to kill this guy with our last remaining... Oh, what's he using? Oh, that was a very large attack right there. And unfortunately, it seems as though they actually did detonate our black hole a little bit early. So we're going to need to reload before we are able to do anything else. What is that? Is that mine? Is that mine over there? Apparently it is. I think it's been destroyed. It's actually been shot off. That's unfortunate. Okay, yeah, we need to be a little bit closer for that, unfortunately. Yes. Well, it doesn't particularly matter because he's dead. But, point is, really should have been a lot closer for the shotgun. So, maybe, just maybe, we'll make some sort of... I would like to make a sort of squarish, maybe a circular... I don't know whether a circular is actually possible, but... Maybe sort of a squarish type ship that is able to get in really close, really fast, and then just hit them really hard and, you know, just shoot them straight in the face, because that's just how we roll, isn't it? Really. So, yeah, we do have too few cores. <laughs> Thank you very much for the reminder. But I'm going to be doing yet more arenas, and that will be it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.